Patch notes for part 2 anniversary just dropped. Oh my god, they were not trolling on Twitter. <laughs> Tristan is actually gonna be here for part 2. There's no way. I have not seen anything on the patch notes. This should be the bond buff should be here. This patch notes is gonna be huge. Tristan, I was only expecting Arthur. Holy shit, okay. Kid Tristan, which is, I think, um, understandable. I, oh, there's so much to read here. What's the banner? Is Arthur not in the banner? I mean, Arthur is furry, but I thought he would also be in the banner. Okay, the banner's garbage. <laughs> I hope Tristan is good. Is Tristan gonna be a collab character or a normal banner? Will not be added. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's let's read what he does. Jeez, I was not expecting to see Tristan today. So his passive. I'm translating Google Translate. So if it's a little off, I'm sorry. Increase. There's no way. You guys don't want to hear what he does. <laughs> you guys don't want to hear what he does. So, he increases attack-related stats of demons per 43% for each demon part ally participating in battle. He has Zaldrus' passive, are you kidding me? I can't read the bottom. The, the, the bottom is not... Okay. Oh, it increases defense-related stats of each goddess ally. He doubles up! He is an attack buffer for demons and a defense buffer for goddesses. He is the fourth unit for Mile. There's no way. There's no way they're dropping a fourth for Mile. I can't believe this. A fourth for goddesses. And also, not that good of a back unit for demons. So he's a goddess. But I don't know why he even does a demon thing, because it's the same amount as Zeldra's, but without a secondary passive. But it works everywhere, not just PvP. So that he, he got that over Zeldra's, I guess. He's defense... Real, d defense 15%? That's 45% defense-related stats. That's a lot. That is a lot. I mean, his cards are irrelevant because he's a back unit. But, I mean, maybe he's also for Frontina, who knows? He has uh, Stun as his first card. His second card is uh, Blue Alley Hawks buff card. So, you know, Hardening or uh, whatever the name is. And his ult is Secret Technique. Not a very good ult. He's a back unit. He's a back unit. Prince Tristan. I am shocked. What about the free Arthur? Ooh, I am liking the sight of open every... Uh, works in the back and... Over, wait, which one is it? I don't know. I just know he works everywhere. So what does he do? Oh, he's a, he, he's a human back unit. Okay. For each human ally participating in battle, increases max HP by 10%. I'm sorry, the Google Translate is not doing the best it could do. Increases max HP of human allies by 10% for each uh, human ally. 30% for all humans? That's pretty good. Also increases allies critical defense by 5% per human? No, that go dude, the Google Translate is like actually dying trying to translate this. Actually, actually like struggling. He has some critical defense increase though. I, okay. Oh, each time you take a stance, removes debuffs on allies and increases critical defense of allies by 5% for each debuff on allies, up to 10 times. Okay, that is a very difficult translate translation there. But he works in the back, but half of his passive only works if he's in the front. That's interesting. His cards, I think the first one is take off ultimate gauge, yep. Second card, taunts. Nullifies debuff effects, provokes, uh, yeah. Recovers 50%. Oh no. There's no way they're giving him this stance card. You know what this stance card is? There's no. <laughs> they're giving him Blue Reamer stance card. <laughs> Assumes the stance uh, grants debuff immunity, taunts for two turns, and then heals diminished HP as hard next turn. It's not the worst. 
Rad, uh, Excalibur Arthur's one is much better. But he works in the back. I, I, I really need this Google Translate to like work properly when translating the top part here because I really want to see... Yeah, it's just it's not working all that well. But for each debuff that he that he removes when using the stance, he buffs everyone's crit defense by five percent. Uh, I don't know how relevant that is. Should be honest. Am I even going to be using him in the front, considering his cards are Rimuru's? Was so he taunts at level one at least. But it's a one turn taunt even in level two. Like Red Arthur has a better taunt. <laughs> Blue Reamer's taunt, okay. Uh, really, really need to know if the, is the HP part going to be relevant? But let's check out Bond's buff first before saying that. So let's, uh, now that we've seen what Tristan does, I want to see his ultimate. I want to see his ultimate. Where is it? Here. Oh my god, so loud. So loud. I'm a... That's cute. That's cute. It makes sense because th is th this is not Tristan from the movie, is it? It might be. It, or is this from that uh, last chapter of Seven Deadly Sins? I think it might be. Because if you don't know, the last chapter of Seven Deadly Sins, or the few, I think like last three chapters or something, like Tristan, Kid Tristan shows up. It's not in Four Nights, it's from actual uh, thingy. Okay. New night. Okay, I'm gonna skip this stuff really quickly. I just wanna get to the bond buff. Uh, uh, thanks for the. the Whoa, a new bond. A new bond. Alpha based on the actual like mangaka art. I really want to see that. Look at that. Look at that art. Oh no, I want to see that outfit. Where's the bond buff, bro? Okay, th there's a lot of stuff. I'm scrolling for a lot of stuff, and I'm gonna have to return to this. But okay, so here's the bond buff. Oh my god, Google Translate was not able to do it. <laughs> like. Dude, uh, the little thing. There's no way. Didn't be able to do it here. So. Uh, I'm going to have to pause and, and try to see if I can muster up this translation here really quickly. Because there's no one else awake to do it. Okay, I'm going to try to go very slowly here. So these are all the changes. I, I'm not sure if this is enough, but I don't know. So... You know, if you go by what Bond used to do, uh, his passive only worked with sins, and that was a big nuisance. What, why is it so unzoomed in? Okay. Doesn't matter, I can't read anyways, but... Um, now it works not only with sins, but also with humans and fairies. So sins, humans, and fairies are the three groups that works with his passive. That's nice. Fairies is, is a cool addition, I guess, for Elaine. Uh, I don't know... Maybe they'll release a good lane one day, uh, for him, specifically. Um, and now, <laughs> I didn't know this was a thing. So, part of his passive was that allies that were part of Seven Daily Sins took 20% last damage. Apparently, that did not apply to himself, but now it does. So, he wasn't getting the 20% damage reduction. Why? <laughs> okay, now he does. Why would he not get the 20% damage reduction before? Mael does the same thing and he gets the damage reduction. That makes no sense. Okay. Now he gets the 20% damage reduction. I didn't even know that was a thing. I thought he did. Um, and also, you know how his passive you know, lowers the attacker list out of enemies after the skill goes off? Now it happens before the skill goes off. That might not seem like a lot, a big difference, but it is a bit of a difference. I don't know if this is enough. We'll have to try him out and see. I don't know if it's enough. So now also, they're increasing the maximum per each ult level that you can get attack with. It starts off of a level 1, and now it's 15. You can see the numbers. Um, 
it's it's a difference, and he will be better. Now he gets the twenty percent damage reduction, I guess. Um, but I don't know. I, I just don't know if it's enough. I don't know. It doesn't change the core problem with his character. I don't think. Also, okay, the mark is not removed anymore once you attack it with the snipe card. Which I, again, I, I never thought that was the issue. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this will make him better. If you uh, apply the debuff on, like, trader, uh, sorry, Purgatory Melee, and then you attack him, I guess it's still going to be debuffed, and he's going to be lowered by 100%, but will he? He can cleanse. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is going to be that big of a deal, to be honest. Um, and that's it. That's all the changes. There's no changes to the cards or anything. No multiplier increase for the snipe card, which I thought could be a thing. Uh, it says Transcendence Bond's skills and tactics, special tactics, the, the skills are the same. I, there, there's no difference in the skills, so it's just the just passive. Okay. Let me know what you think. I, we're we're going to have to see in-game. If, um, if it doesn't end up being better, cool. If not, then oh well. So let's go back to the top of the patch notes and take a look at the rest. So, Guild stuff there's like guild daily missions now they've talked about this for a while i haven't read what it is yet but i'm sure um hmm yeah the activity points so these are doesn't show but i'm assuming these are the, like the daily missions and you get like coins for it i don't know we have to see in game and then you can buy, and I'm guessing everyone in the guild gets this, like maybe the guild, either you individually buy it or whatever, or the guild leader buys it and everyone gets it, I don't know. Um, PvP season is going to be giving guild funder got tickets. This is the first time they actually sell these. The, this is like the worst, like re-rolling of this thing is the worst. Um, okay. Interesting. They're, they're they're selling all of these. I'm thinking there's uh there's gonna be a new demonic beast coming up soon. Not gonna lie. Okay, but bundles, bundles, bundles. Okay, this is the uh, the second wave of the free like box, and we already have an idea, had an idea of who it's gonna be, and now we see the full picture. So it's gonna be you know Green Valencia, which is whatever. Bond, if you don't have him, six six, pretty good. Tonar is pretty good. I like these outfits. Elaine and Bond. I mean, you know. I want to see the full thing, but sure. And then we also get the Arthur. Interestingly, you can't pull Arthur, so you're just going to have to deal with Arthur being 1-6. Hope that's not a big deal, but we'll see. Um, I don't know if, honestly, I'm freaking about the Arthur now. Like, if you're running a full human team with Bond... You're going to be getting a lot of HP related stats for him. He's going to have a lot of HP, but it doesn't really matter. I don't know. I don't know. The Arthur could be decent, but it's looking like... Uh, it is interesting back unit, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he certainly is like better than using Twigo, but... <laughs> you know, no one's using Red anymore, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh... Oh, you can get a full multi for Tristan, of course, with the tickets and a U UR pendant. Cool. A Twigo event. That's pretty neat. It doesn't show any pictures of gameplay. It was like a mini game. Fever! Oh my god, what a tease. Missed the Fever banner. I guess it's a mini game with Twigo. You can get rewards from it, of course. Outfit for Bon. Bon just came out, he's getting an outfit. Return of some seasonal outfits. You're trolling. You're trolling. They're returning the Assault Melly and Esterosa outfit from Halloween, but not Zeldris? Oh my god, I need that Zeldris outfit. Are you trolling? I wasn't playing on my account when the Zeldris outfit came out. Speedy had my account, he was taking care of it. It was his at the time. But he didn't buy the outfit, so we're missing a fifth weapon for his elders. Oh my god, you're trolling. <laughs> of course. Uh, final boss, Melian, Liz. 
whatever. These are two irrelevant characters. Oh, actually, no. Baseless is not irrelevant, but, you know. Two very old characters, so. At least it's free gems. Free gems is always good with uh, final bosses. Reused boss, always nice. Um, is that it? Night boss improve display of rewards. Not improving the boss itself, I see. <laughs> improve PvP display. Not improving PvP, okay. Alright, um, overall... I don't know. I'm gonna have to be able to uh, take a look at Bon and see... If the buff is enough to make him an anniversary character. Excited to see Tristan in the game. I hope to see the other Knights of the Apocalypse soon. And, um, oh yeah, tomorrow. So, update is going out live tomorrow. Uh, I can make Lost Vein in LR as well. So, we're going to have a lot to try. We're going to have a lot to try. All right.